clear guys last class we have seen about photoconductivity and i told you that the photoconductivity is a phenomena for most of the optoelectronic devices one such device is the photodiode now i can also name this photodiode as a photodetectors meaning it says that photodetector photodiodes can act as a photodetector also so when this question is raised in any 8 mark question or something else when you learn photodiode you can also write it for photodetectors so listen to the class now it's a see the name photodiode so it's also a type of diode but it's a special type let me write here it's a special type of pn junction diode now what is there special in it look at here now we we used to represent pn junction diode as p region and n region so a junction is being achieved between p and n region now upon the junction you are going to allow the light to strike on the junction and that's why it's something special right now this same thing can be represented via schematic uh, symbol how to represent normal diode is represented in this way so we have anode as well as cathode plus and minus now as ample of ample of light is allowed to strike at the junction the arrow should be towards the device now i can say that in short i can say that this photodiode it converts light into current which is nothing but the phenomena of photoconductivity now even the solar cell is also branded as a photodetector now the very important point is this type of photodiodes are designed to work under reverse bias they are designed to operate under reverse bias normally normal normal pn junction diodes will not work in the reverse bias condition now in the same case with photo photodiodes as plus the photodetectors the one thing is what we are going to allow the light to strike the junction that is the additional thing now let's move on to the construction it's a simple thing so now let's get back to our favorite diagram p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor we have achieved a junction now as i told you it works only under the reverse bias we have to give the connection in the reverse bias condition so this is the way to connect now look at here p region is connected to negative terminal of the battery and n region is connected to the positive terminal of the battery that is the reverse bias connection p region p to negative terminal of the battery and n region to the positive terminal of the battery that is a way to connect now once again we will represent the dominant charge carriers we'll, we are writing only the dominant charge carriers likewise here also the dominant charge carriers your your junction is designed in such a way you will have a transparent window where it allows the light to strike into it okay now as far as the construction p region is connected to negative terminal and n region is connected to positive terminal so as soon as we achieve the reverse bias we all know that the unlike charges will be attracted each other will attract each other unlike charges attract each other as a result what happens the spots the holes will be attracted towards the negative terminal and electrons will be attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery so the next diagram i'll uh, i can i can say that now the as there is no movement of electrons on holes the depletion layer increases the width of the depletion layer increases whenever there is width of the depletion layer increases what happens there will be no flow of current no flow of current no flow of current at this stage theoretically there should be no flow of current because it is a reverse bias but practically if you take there will be feeble current flowing through the diode very very little amount of current 
very feeble current will flow th through the diode that's because of what that is because of increase in the temperature so i'll say that this is called as thermionic emission thermionic emission meaning is what there will be flow of current because of thermal agitation because of increase in the temperature now let me write the point here at reverse bias small current flows very small current flows through the diode and this small current is called as a dark current okay now at this juncture we will be allowing the light to fall at the junction as a result what happens electrons and holes will absorb the energy and they will move to the excited state as we can explain through the energy level diagram what is the principle of photoconductivity again back to the favorite diagram is what valence band and the conduction band now when the atoms are allowed to strike the photons of maximum energy E is equal to H nu what happens covalent bonds will be broken covalent bonds bonds get broken then what happens all the atoms electrons will be liberated and they they occupy the higher energy level which is the conduction band now what happens all the electrons move to the conduction band whenever number of electrons in the conduction band increases automatically current also increases current increases now this flow of current this current is named as reverse current which is given by the term i d okay which is given by the term i d now this current that is i d current increases with light intensity whenever the light intensity of with maximum intensity of light strikes the current also increases increases with the light intensity now we will plot the graph and for the forward bias you can plot it in this way but for the reverse bias to show that to ensure that it is a reverse bias condition we are drawing the graph in the negative y direction so we are represents reverse voltage and here we have a current this is reverse bias now in your book they have drawn in a reverse way so we will get a flow of current and that too it is in the range of microampere now I, to, I told here we have dark current now the first curve indicates this curve is because of dark current or feeble current flows now as whenever the intensity is being slowly increased we will get the flow of current slowly start increasing so let me write here the first curve the first curve represents dark current current due to the minority charge carriers that is because of thermally agitated electrons the second is due to some intensity of light let me write it as 500 lumen per meter squared lumen indicates what lumen is nothing but luminescence unit of luminescence the next one is thousand the next one is what thousand five hundred lumen per meter squared likewise it goes on now in your book they have extended that is the total current total current i is equal to two currents one is the dark current this dark current is due to thermal agitation next current is current through the diode correct current through the diode both are represented by the term i s plus i d now we have we have a relations uh, relationship anything can be represented in terms of mathematics likewise we have a diode equation that is a ideal diode equation 
that can be written in this way i d is equal to i naught into 1 minus uh, v d divided by n k t that is a small mistake in your book so please make it correct this is not v c it is v d and this is not eta it is n k t now what is this i d this is the current through the diode and what is i naught it is the saturation current saturation current then 1 minus e into vd what is vd vd is the diode voltage and what is n n is the coefficient some let's have like a it's a correction factor and the value of n lies between 1 and 2 it depends on the type of semiconductor uh, then what we have k is a Boltzmann constant and t is a temperature why we go for Boltzmann constant because since the temperature is being involved we will we'll go for we will include Boltzmann constant as well as the temperature now as this is the equation for uh, diode the current through the diode then the total current can be obtained by the equation I is equal to the current due to uh, minority charge carriers that is a dark current plus I naught into 1 minus e to the power Vd divided by Nkt. So this is equation 1, this is 2. Now substituting 2 in 1, we get the total current in the device. So the main application is what? It is photodiode is used to control the resistance. How the resistance is being controlled? By varying the current. The current can be varied by using light. Then since the current is varied, it can act as a switch. And we can operate the switches on a faster way say faster meaning of faster in a nanosecond you can operate and it can also function as a photo detectors so when this question is raised you can also uh, uh, when the photo detectors is being asked you can also write about the photodiode 